Janice. Get Jiggy Wick. Hey guys, what if I took her too? Alright, so I'm here to do a video on Alexis Wiz. So, of course I do synchronicities, the glasses, the glasses stand for somebody's looking for her, alright, the candle stands for some form of magic. That was, uh, that was being done or being performed in this particular instance. Let the red rose represent love or some form of, uh, love gesture. Okay. And as you can see, that light back there, as I said, love gesture, it turned kind of like an orangish color. That represents the the uh, the sacral region okay so yeah anyway as I said that the orange represents the sacral chakra okay so this has something to do with the sacral chakra all right something about you know love love chakra the chakra on how you being treated out here the chakra of sexuality and creativity okay the three, uh, it's three of them. I don't know if you can see them all. But it's three statues right there. One, two, three. And those are black women. That stands for at least two other females. The tall one in the middle is um, represents the height of the issue. Concerning Alexis Ware. The other two uh, statues of black women are the two females that she's been in contact with throughout this whole thing. Okay. I want you to know the message that I'm getting about Alexis Ware is that she is not dead. And I have seen uh, on Ratchet TV where um, her friend called in and said she's not dead okay now Alexis Ware is of course the young lady that came up missing I believe she's 29 years old on January 30th it is now March um I'll say 27th and she's still yet to rear her head from wherever darkness is going on okay as I keep continue to deal with these cards the first card on the deck is Empress the Empress, okay? This represents Alexis Ware. Okay, she is the Empress. Um, and see how the cards fail, of course? That is, you know, the falling of the issue. All right? Now, creativity is the key energy for today. So this has everything to do with Alexis Ware's creativity. And it says this is Mother Nature. She is a mother who can be overwhelming uh, in her need to reproduce. Okay, so this may have something to do with a baby. It says this can be a call to nurture yourself or someone else in your life, okay? So she wasn't being nurtured. She wasn't able to sit back peacefully, as you can see, um, and, you know, nurture and live life and love the way you want to. It says look to the lessons you learn as a child, sometimes, uh, it says sometimes mother really did know best, okay? So it was something about 
you know, something her mother said that she needed to learn. <clears throat> All right. And the next card that stands out is Ace of Swords. So, Swords is, um, matter of fact, energy. Um, as you can see, two people over here. All right. <clears throat> and as you can see, the rose looking things right here. Okay. And I was tempted to put these two out and behind here. Well, it, it's actually two on the table, but I was tempted to put these two out, which are exactly what you see right here. Okay. And then I changed my mind and put the red one up because of course it has something to do with love. So anyway, I'll put this back here. The one that was behind that red one, you couldn't see. So technically there were two, two roses on the table, which this represents two roses and the sword that's in the middle. Okay. So this stands for a fight between two lovers. Okay. With one of them being the empress. All right. So then I got five of rods. Rods stands for magic. Okay. So there was some magic that was performed. A five stands for negative energy. So there was some form of negative energy or negative magic that was performed. Five of Rods reads competition. So there was a competition where the Empress has something to do. There's some form of competition between her and love and this person that has the sword out. Okay. It says Five of Wands. Competition can be fun when you challenge yourself. Okay. And obviously, this is a challenge with her and herself. It can be less fun when you engage in actions that bring you into conflict with your coworkers, friends, and family. So right now, she's in conflict with her coworkers, friends, and family. All right, guys. Let's see what else it reads. It reads. Uh, it says it can be. Oh, I read that. It says, your secret weapon is that you can remove yourself from the conflict by simply choosing to do something else. So she removed herself. All right? All the way away from the conflict. Okay? Six of Cups stands for moving from stormy waters to calm waters. So it says, uh, old friends bring back. I apologize. This stands for something or someone coming back from the past. It says, old friends bring you happiness today. Revisit those places that bring back memories of happy times together. So she was unhappy, okay? It says, the, the energy now is geared towards pleasant times and fond friends. Make time today to remind someone why they are in your life. So she did this to remind, to, for this guy, um, that guy she was dating. Y'all, I'm sure y'all may have heard of his name, TJ. And from what I got, you know, the message that I'm getting is that she left to prove a point, okay? She left to prove a point. She was tired of being, not being right here in this Four of Cups energy. She was tired of not being in that energy. And the energy of Four of Cups is stability, okay? It's when you, it says, when you see this card, look at the cup being offered. So she wasn't being offered Pleasant love, or as you can see, white magic with the gold. She wasn't, her love wasn't golden, okay, between her and that guy. It was with conflict involving kids, a rod, stands for a penis, all right? So it must be in some form of unfaithfulness in that, okay? Um, it says... Uh, when you focus on the cups that are empty, you could get stuck into a feeling of loss. So she was lost in that relationship. The good news is your guides are here to give you more. She wanted more or need more. She was being guided to move away from him to show him that she was way more valuable than what she was being treated as. It says, you just have to notice what is right in front of you. All right. So he couldn't see what was right in front of him. And she wanted to prove that point. All right. So three of cups right here. Three of cups. It says, let your compass point towards play today. Okay. 
be ready to attend a party. If no one invites you, then it's time for you to create your own joy. The forecast is happy, bright, and upbeat. Reach out to people who can change your mo your mood from dull to bright. Celebrate the gift of these friendships. So she wanted to be celebrated. She wanted to be respected. And she wasn't. All right. The next two cards that I see are ten of rods and seven of rods. Okay. So it was some type of evil magic that was going on. Okay. Okay. It says, when you see this card, remember to say no to anything, to any new demands or projects. The Seven of Wands says you may have to defend your decisions, which is what she's going to have to do. She's going to have to de defend, the, defend the decision as to why she left her kids and why she took off, you know, after she met the guy at the, was it the 7-Eleven or the corner store or a gas station or whatever that is. All right. We got the World in Reverse, which is the next card. Okay. The world in reverse. So, yes, people are talking about her, but they're not talking about a lot of positivity, okay, when it comes to her. It says, um, uh, it says, now is a good time to expand your outlook, okay? And, you know, what Alexis wear, wears, like the outfits and stuff she wear, has a lot to do with what's going on. As you can see, this is completely naked with some form of cloth wrapped around her. All right. Then we have the tower moment, the argument with her and her man. Okay. Something, towers all are, are good in the fact that they, re they reveal false belief, a false belief system. Okay. As you can see, the fire coming out of the tower. So, their home was full of fire, negativity, arguing, uh, thunderbolts, yelling, dark light. All right. Okay. <clears throat> that has caused the guy TJ or it has caused Alexis to become hermits. Hermits are people that normally are somewhere thinking about money. They're, they've moved themselves away from the world, like staying in, you know, keeping themselves locked up somewhere, like in a room or something along those lines. And as you can see, she has her back turned towards the world. All right. After that, I'm showing Queen of Rods. All right. So she was a queen of magic. She worked her magic some type of way. And when she worked her magic, it has everything to do with being a star in reverse. Okay, so because of what she has done, it has caused the world to talk about her or for her or at her stardom or whatever this situation is, you know, her quote unquote celebrity status or whatever right now is in reverse. She, so she's not necessarily being considered a star at the moment. Okay, so um, normally stars aim high, but according to this picture, it appears as this, though she's, she's aiming low. And as you can see, here's the star dipping in the water, that naked body again, as you can see, but it was in reverse. Okay, so something negative is, negative is going on. She's getting her publicity or whatever from some form of negativity that's being talked about on her. And here it goes, the lovers. The lovers are up next. Okay, so this has everything to do with her and her man. And then if you see... After on top of the, the next card up is the lovers. They were fighting or arguing. It says two of swords. Okay. So here are these two people. Here are these the fight between the two lovers. All right. And after the fight is nine of pentacles. That stands for success of a single woman. Okay. So they were she's fighting for her 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 right or her her being successful in life and in work in a in a marriage or in a relationship, for example. Okay, that's that is what this has to do with. And the next card up is the page of cups. Somebody was offer her offering her some very, very immature love. Okay. All right, spirit. So what we want to know is where is she? What happened? 
okay? Like, what's going on? Like, is she is she returning? What's really going on? Okay. Now I have two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. This stands for a new beginning where money is concerned. So this has something to do with some money. Maybe that lottery. Uh, the deal with the lottery ticket or something like that. If in a, or some form of lottery ticket or something. I'm not sure. It was some something happened to do with some money. All right. So, so let's give some more car spirit and find out where she actually is. All right, so bottom of the deck, playfulness and the fool. Okay. So he was stupid for playing with her the way he did. We got as soon as I cut the deck, laziness is in reverse. Okay, so she gone. She wasn't being lazy about nothing. She took right off. Transformation. She wants she needs shit to be different. Harmony, which is in reverse. Again, it was not a harmonious relationship. So what was the issue, Spirit? Like, is she coming back? Why is she leaving? Like, where did she go? You guys, I will tell you that I seen a red car, okay? Consciousness. This is on everybody's mind, where she's at, okay? Okay, so people are worried about you, Alexis, and they, and I know your friend, you know, one of the, as you can see, one of the two people that she's been talking to, sharing in reverse. She's been talking to them, but she ain't been talking to nobody else. And then right by sharing is isolation, okay? Her isolating herself is similar to that hermit. But we wanna know why, what is the issue? Cut right on lovers, okay? She's isolated herself from a lover. Okay? Her lover is actually calling out to the Lord or the source to find out where she's at. Right, and that's where people like me, tarot card readers and things like that are coming in. Okay, so what was the overall issue, Lord God? Spirit, like, give me a card to show, like, what happened. Okay, conditioning. She's trying to do something else, y'all. She's conditioning herself to do something else. What is it? She's leaving everybody feeling incarcerated. Okay, that's the next part of it. That that's, that's her motive. She wants people to know how it feels for being without her. Or she wants the guy, TJ, to f see how it feels, with, you know, being without her. It says adventure. So she's on an adventure somewhere. She left to do some different stuff. What is it, though? Then after, right at the bottom of the deck of adventure, shows the rebel. So she's rebelling. So that's what this is about, okay? She left because... She feel like she wasn't being appreciated. Look, playfulness is up again. And maturity. Maturity, which is in reverse. Okay? So, she was tired of the childish shit that was going on. That's, it has been going on too long. All right? It showed ordinariness in that field. So, again... She's out there. She's out there in the world, out in the field. But where is she at, though? Like, is she coming back home anytime soon? It says turning in, okay? So she, she and turning in is a reverse, so it's in reverse. So she ain't about to show up no time soon. Although she's thinking about it, it says turning in, and it was in reverse. So she ain't about to turn herself in. Or she may have to turn herself in <laughs> or something like that. 
how does her parents or her mother or her family feel about this? Like, where is she at? Well, how does her, her family feel about it? Like, she don't, don't nobody want to say. It says slowing down. So, tortoise and shell. So, her family taking their time looking for her. You know why? Because they know, somebody know where she's at. Okay. Control is in reverse. She felt like she didn't have control no more. All right, guys. All right. So what we're looking at on the table is a young lady who's beautiful, um, who's a nurturing mother, who got into it with a lover. Um, and she wanted she moved away. Six of Cups. She went she she wanted to move from uh stormy waters to calm waters because of some form of negative magic that was placed. I don't know if it was the magic they said that she actually done or something having to do with her you know, her or her guy dealing with some form of magic or the magic that she may have put on him possibly. All right. And it shows traveling. So she left, but she left in, if you can see, traveling is in reverse, okay? The sun is at the bottom, and you can see all this negativity look like something demonic or evil is going on. So she might want to be careful wherever she's at. And then right here, inner voice is in reverse. She didn't listen to her inner voice. So wherever she's at, it ain't nowhere that's good for her i guess in her family the world is out here looking for her that was in reverse and it was because of a fight and so because of that she's high in hiding or in hermit mode it shows maturity again in the dream okay so she had an immature relationship and it has something to do with somebody else being involved some other woman or something all right spirit Is she coming back anytime soon? I know the car says she wasn't, but let me get a confirmation on that. All right, celebration. So she will be back. She'll be back. Again, here's those three women. That's right there. As you can see, those three black women back there. So she's she talking to them. And when she's talking about them, they, she's actually in celebration. She's happy that they, that people are looking for her. She's happy to actually dismiss herself from, from that negative environment and show, um, show her ex-lover is what I'm hearing. You know, that here's the card that's in my hand, that compromise is necessary and that she's just as strong as he is, as you can see. All right? And then, again, you see both pinkies touching. That has something to do with negativity as far as like Masonicness or the devil nature of that. Um, some form of hex or some form of magic being up in the air. Okay. And, and that's order for him in order for him to compromise. Okay. Or for them to compromise in this relationship. It shows guilt about the dream. Okay. So she's guilty for leaving that. And he's guilty as well. I don't know what the trunk of a car has to do with anything that's out in the field. I actually keep getting that, that message. Okay. And the next two cars I'm seeing is guilt again and moment to moment. Okay, so and I'm hearing his the guy TJ name is showing that he's guilty moment to moment about the situation, and that he actually loved her. She was beautiful to him, and actually a woman that was beyond his illusion. But again, what she what she is wearing maybe, or like in costume or being made up, like she changed her look or something like that. But everybody want to know where she's at. 
So I told y'all she she's talking to her friends and she's celebrating, okay? But I don't think she's planning on coming back no time soon. And every time I say where she's at, the possibilities of the flower girl. The flower girl is the empress right here. So the empress has come up again. So this is the empress twice. So the, And the possibilities are in reverse. All right. So if she's not kept careful, she's going to end up with herself being in some form of trouble. Okay. All right, you guys, let me get a different different deck. Let's see what Spirit has to say about that, about it. This is the... This is a different deck. All right. Once I cut it, it came up to divine love right now. So she's possibly somewhere with another lover. Okay? Right now... She's with somebody that she feel like cares about her, okay? And green stands for the heart chakra, and purple stands for the, um, for, like, I would say, like, the pineal gland or for your spiritual chakra, okay? So, spiritually, she's in a better place. Trying to do what's called reframe her life. How does she feel about her kids, spirit? Like being gone from everybody and her kids and stuff. 